One of the best ways to come up with YouTube topic ideas that get lots of views is by using Google Trends. This is a very quick and easy way to determine if your video idea or blog has search demand on YouTube or Google in general. And later I'll show you which search term I discovered that really blew up my YouTube channel from basically zero. When COVID really hit the world in March 2020, I decided to dedicate myself to growing a YouTube channel. At first, I thought I would just make some videos about things that I liked or thought would be good to teach. However, after doing a short course on how to start a YouTube channel, I decided to use the Google Trends tool to find the best video topics. The main goal was to find a topic that had previously not been popular, but was now starting to trend and therefore should be able to organically attract thousands of views. In this video, I'm going to run through a quick case study, then I'll go into some specifics on how to best use Google Trends to find content ideas. Back then, I knew I wanted to do some tutorials with something to do with video, so I started putting some video related search terms into Google Trends. Here are the search results at the time I decided to start a YouTube channel for the year leading up to March 2020. First, I searched for video production tips. Great, there was some traction here. No real trend in any direction, but still a baseline of searches, so maybe a good topic here. How about how to video on iPhone? Great, a steadily higher search volume with a very nice uptick at the end here. People were really wanting to learn how to do this at that time. This would be a great topic. Let's try one more though, how to use Zoom. Wowzers, look at how the baseline was leading into March and then see how it pumps to 100. This is an absolute goldmine of a topic to create some tutorial content around and get thousands of views, at least around that time. So for a lot of 2020, I focused on creating a lot of content around how to use Zoom, always referring back to Google Trends to see how a specific combination of words would score when people search for it. Let's look at some results of total views as of today for my first handful of Zoom tutorials from March to May 2020 and using results from worldwide here. I'll explain why that is later. How to download Zoom. Google Trends showed, yes, massive trend here. And total views to date, 40,000. Next one, Zoom virtual background without green screen. Quite a specific search term here. Google Trends showed, great, another huge trend. And total views to date, 131,000. Next one, how to share screen on Zoom. Google Trends showed, almost the same. Pretty decisive and total views, 500,000. For a lot of these search terms, I was and still am the highest viewed video for that particular topic and appear high on search results, as you can see here. Not bad for a small channel, eh? Up until I started releasing Zoom videos in March 2020, I was only at 400 subscribers after 10 years on YouTube with just random videos. By the end of 2020 though, I had already gained around 3,000 new subscribers. Now that you can see how quickly you can gain viewership using Google Trends, to determine trending video topics, let's go back a step and take a closer look at how to use Google Trends. Taking a look at the how to use Zoom graph again, the metric on the left hand side, zero to 100, does not actually represent the number of total searches, rather it shows the relative amount of search volume to historic values in that period. So it's pretty obvious with this chart that prior to COVID lockdown, hardly anyone was using Zoom or wanted to learn how to use Zoom. But all of a sudden, people were forced to use apps such as Zoom to communicate and do work from home. Therefore, everyone started searching for how to use Zoom around that time. And it's represented by the steep uptick to 100 here. Now here's a few things to keep in mind when getting the most out of Google Trends. First, often Google Trends will return this message if there is not enough data to give a result. It doesn't mean there's zero search demand here, it just means your search term is too specific or has very little interest. Second, I recommend you select worldwide instead of any particular country. The reason for this is that you may have a really viable trending search term, but it may not have enough search volume to register on a single country scale, and you may move on from this search term altogether. But if you select worldwide, such as in this example, your pool of search data is majorly increased and there may be enough data to represent a trend for that same search term. Furthermore, if you wanna see a map of which country most of the search demand is coming from, take a look at the interest by region below, which is pretty self-explanatory here. Third, definitely play around with the length of your search term or perhaps swap a word around to be more generic. For example, a search term such as how to record a Zoom video Mac doesn't register any results, 
But if I shorten it to how to record a Zoom video, you can see that the results come up. Or if I were to just change one word, how to record Zoom Mac, again, you can see some results. So the takeaways here are search worldwide, look for that steep uptick and start with a long tail search phrase and trim it back or change it around until you can register good results that show a trend for it. From there, you can move forward with the idea or dismiss it as not a great one and move on to another idea. Let's now look at the trajectory of favorable trend lines. So we're trying to identify ideas for video or blog topics that you wanna find a topic over the last year or even five years that previously had very little search volume and that is currently trending higher or even towards that 100 mark. To illustrate that, if I add another year to the search term, how to use Zoom, you can see that by the end of May 2021, demand for that search topic decreased majorly as people have less of a need to find out information about that topic now because they already know how to do it. Now, as Zoom released new features, I stayed on top of this to create content about these new features. So if I change the topic to Zoom blurred background, which Zoom officially released in February, you can see that demand for that search term shot up around that time. And my video was ready to go just in time to satisfy that search demand. Let's again add another year to it. You can see it's steadily tapered off. However, there was still some search demand for it around late March, as we were still hovering between 25 to 50 relative to that 100 peak in April 2021. What if I put in the search term of the generic how to use Zoom? you can see that it has really tapered off from that peak in April 2020. And up to today's date, they've pretty much gone to zero. So as you can see, there wouldn't be much use in creating a video on these two search terms now because the ship has already sailed for them. However, I am still receiving video views on it to this day simply because they are leading videos on YouTube for those search terms. But for a brand new video or blog idea for today, you need to find a search topic that is trending now and preferably hasn't had much search demand previously. So to further help you find a trending video topic now, YouTube has a new research tab inside YouTube Studio. Check out this video here to learn what it does and how to use it. But briefly, if you were to put a generic search term in this new YouTube research tool, such as iPhone how to or Zoom how to, it would spit out a bunch of search terms that it claims has content gaps that is unsatisfied search demand. And YouTube has cleverly provided a button next to that search term that immediately takes you to the Google Trend result for it. You can then use the Google Trend result to validate whether that content gap does indeed have high search demand. In this case, it's tapered off. But how about iPhone alarm sound? Now this one has a good search demand. By the way, the dotted line here doesn't necessarily suggest it's going to zero. It just means there's not enough data to validate that last little period of time. So this particular search demand might look like it's not trending upwards, but don't forget to check out how it looks over the last five years to get a better picture of its trend. More on Google Trends. Down the bottom here, you can see a couple of sections called related topics and related queries, along with a few tools to help you find some other ideas. So have a play around with that also. So go ahead and use these tips I've just talked about to create some high demand videos with your next YouTube video or blog. And don't forget to watch this video next to learn how to use that YouTube research tool inside YouTube Studio I just mentioned. And I'll see you there.